my coach, uh, talk about the defense on Saturday night. It seemed like a passing game for them. Everything clicking. Well, we were moving. We were doing pretty good. We started out slow. But uh, we played well in the second half. I thought going down the stretch, we played well. We kind of got on to what they were doing. <clears throat> we made some adjustments at halftime. I think it hurt them. But uh, it just wasn't good enough. You know, we gave up the big play. When we gave up the big touchdown, that really put us behind and put our offense in a situation where we had to throw the football a little bit more to try to get back into the game. But I thought, you know, looking at the film, you know, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. You know, I went back and sat with the offense and looked at the film as well. And uh, we blocked pretty well and picked things up, even though they got through a couple of times because they said more than what we could handle. And so that's what we worked on in practice this morning, how to be able to pick it up, what we want to do when people are trying to be aggressive, trying to get to our quarterback and things of that nature. We were very, very poor on keeping them out. You talk about the last game. You had two quarterbacks play on Saturday. Was that going to game plan going in and get both guys? Uh, well, we were hoping to try to just stay with one guy and get through a game, but he got hurt. You know, I thought uh, Peterson played a, a pretty good game, you know, you know, really with his legs and with his arm, but we made some bad throws. You know, we threw some dirt balls, which could have been completion. We dropped some balls on him as well, which hurt us. And uh, we can't seem to get that big play, that momentum changer that we need to be in a ball game. And this is what we're, we're struggling all year long, trying to get that momentum changer that just hadn't come just yet. And um, I'm hoping that this game come Thursday night that we can make some big plays to stay in this game because it's an important game here for us. It's on national TV against a, a team that's undefeated in the conference, and what a win that would be. Moving forward to that Thursday game, what do you know about these guys? Well, I know they're good. They got a new coaching staff in there. They're, you know, they got a new life down there from what happened to them last season. They come back. They, they're playing with a lot of zeal and. Uh, you know, we just have to, you know, they get into the football, they got a big time linebacker that steps in there and play for them, and they got an offense that they're running like a machine right now. You know, they're, you know, they take what they can get, they chop at you on the ground, but then they come out of there and play action and hit you with a big play. And that's what kind of team they are. So we got to stop them running first, and then hopefully our pass defense can, you know, hold up in what we're trying to do, you know, give them some change. But we need to slow down and stop putting a little too much in and let our kids play fast. And I think they're thinking too much still. And so I think we need to slow it down and just do what we do, play our type of football instead of letting them dictate the type of, you know, defense we run. Is that what you think you learned mostly about? Yes, I did. You know, I think in both of us, we got to do what we do. And we got to play the, you know, put the ball in the hands of our playmakers and we got to play the type of defense that they're used to right now that they can click to right now rather than being behind or thinking out there on the field, is this the right set or just, you know, looking at the wristband and thinking, is this the right, so are we in the right look? And so, you know, we don't want them thinking, we want to be able to react. And I think we're a good football team when we react. And we got to go in there with the type of passion that we went into the Jackson State game with. You know, we can't go out there lollygagging and it's not an important game. It's a very important game right now for our seniors at the end of the season so that we can move on. Coach, um, Gremlin is undefeated. Um, you're playing them on ESPN. They're undefeated in the swag. Is that correct? That's correct. That's correct. Um, so talk a little trash. Let's talk talk about uh, how they're not going to come into your house and continue to be undefeated. You all played a really, really close game this past weekend. Uh, are the boys excited? Do they see this as a big game? Oh, yes, they do. They, they see it as a big game. As a matter of fact, yesterday, our meetings were just basically sit down talk meetings. You know, we didn't talk about football. We talked about ourselves and about the team. And we had each of those guys address, you know, what they feel is going on, what they feel we can do better. And I think um, it, today's practice was really indicative of what, um, how they feel about this game. They were up, they were ready to go. It was 5 a.m. in the morning and they were jumping around out there. I think I'll let you talk to trash while I'm going to stay back and see if we can be boxing. <laughs> <laughs> The third quarter said it could, could have been the third quarter for us. We yes. held in, we moved down, got it. I think it, it was a big quarter. It was a big quarter. Time was running in that quarter, and we just couldn't get anything on the board. We were in the red zone. You know, we tried to get a couple field goals out of it. I think if we'd have kicked that one field goal and made it, and I'm not blaming it on the kicker. You know, we should have scored touchdowns, but it would have been nice to have one of those three points and made that game 10 to 17. And then, you know, we got some momentum going, and you never know, defense was playing at that time. You know, we could have went down and scored, tied it up, went for two, won the game. So that game could have went either way for us against a pretty good football team. You know, so, you know, I'm really happy the way they played, but, you know, we just we didn't come out with a W. So, you know, you can't be over happy about it, you know, but I see the baby steps starting to step a little bit longer now.
this will be the second year that Valley Lee on ESPN. Talk about the exposure that the campus will get, the program is going to get them to game on Thursday. I think it's going to be great. You know, I just don't want to get out there and lay an egg either because, you know, ESPN can destroy your program or make your program. And so, you know, you know, it has to, it's a two-way sword here. So if you play well, kids see you play, kids know that you got it, you know, that you're operating and you and you discipline football team. But if we get out there and lay an egg, dropping the football and, you know, getting all these penalties and people look at your program like, hey, you know, that's not anywhere to go because you got to get the good kids. And good kids want to go where they see good football. Having said that, what's your thought on this game and having you been on this game? Would you rather wait until a couple more years after this game? No, no, no. I think it's time now. We've got to step up and be men about it. You know, we, you know, we just got to step up and play football. And I think this is an opportunity to push us into a new life. Anytime that I think God gives you a chance to step out and nobody go ahead and take advantage of it because you don't know how many opportunities you'll get to step out.